This is Rex. He's getting ready to uh, cleave an optical fiber in preparation for making uh, making a connection. Mike is giving an assist on the fluid clean. Okay, Rex is cleaning the tip of the fiber now. And putting it into a Fujikura uh, cleaver, which is going to put a, a very flat edge on the tip of that fiber. That attempt did not work, and Rex is going to <coughs> attempt to recleave it to get a better angle or to get a better that's finish on the on the fiber. That's the wrong way to do it. That's the cleaver. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Rex is recleaning the. Fiber. Now he's going to cleave it. <coughs> closes the closes the lid. No, 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 no. Got to run the blade off. Over. Remember? Oh, that's what okay. you, did. you didn't do anything yet. So and Mike, the technician, is giving some helpful aid here. Okay, now he's ready to reinsert it into the fuser. There we go. It's still a little ragged, but it's more than adequate. Okay, now it's polished. It's computer controlled. It's fine. And it'll uh, mate the other end when That's once Rex inserts that right into the machine the also. The yellow cable is indicating single mode fiber. The actual fiber is much smaller than that, and that's what you see going into the cleaver. Yellow materials to protect the, the fiber. Rex is now working with the second end. Michael is an expert at this operation <coughs> and is carefully watching. He's just, he's just somewhere higher. He just no down That? No. no just does, just, just slices. slices. Yeah. And actors are a whole other ballgame. We don't even deal with them. We don't deal with them. But uh, to really do them correctly... Rex is now uh, inserting the second you know, fiber into the stuff. fuser. Yeah. With multi-mode, no big deal. Yeah, I really don't care. It's flakier yeah. Because the, the core oh, is so, so big. Yeah. <coughs> this is how you clean the edge. There's a the fiber, fiber optics connections lab. If you want to be interested in connectors, go talk to the Fiber Optics Connections Lab. They're across the street from uh, solder school. school. Rex, on a second try on this end, uh, is going to recleave. Yeah, building. Get the preciseness, uh, preciseness that is required south to. Of, south of that building or north of that building? I think it's the building before 18 or the between these two, two fibers. It's kind of like a small, square looking oh, okay. thing. And it's where the surface mount people used to be. Yeah, I think it's where the surface mount people used to be. But uh, you got, you know, those would be the people to talk to. That operation cleaves the fiber. Okay, Rex, you don't put number three down until after you run the blade by. You don't put this down until after you run the blade by, because what it does is it push, does this. And that's probably why you're in it with a bad cleave. Stick it in and take, take a look at it. We're now looking at both ends of the fiber. Yeah, it's chunked up a bit. But I right, just let it run through. That'll probably be fine. And the fusing is now going to begin. When we look at the other axis, looks at one axis. It's got a mirror. Rotates and looks at the other axis. Does alignment. Oh, it's still a three or something. 
Three, so. Yeah, see, the blade's biting into the fiber. That's why you see that that edge on one side and not the other. But that should be fine because most likely those, those brakes are not in the core. There's the fuse. Right. And there's the final fused fiber. You can see that the cores aren't perfectly aligned. They're slightly offset. Okay. And uh, either it pushed in too hard when it was when it was fusing, it, it pushes the two fibers together, or there's a ECF function, which is uh, it aligns the cores and it doesn't look at the outside, which is the cladding looks at the cores and aligns those. So if one of them's off relative to the outside of the cladding, it'll align the core, offset the outs the cladding. So. Uh, it's not, it's not, but that's that's probably going to be an okay. Oh. Outside visual, visualization of the alliance. Yeah. When we go do something up at, at the DSN, we you know we check the loss of the one What kind of specs do you guys usually fight? One, one dB or less, or half a dB or less? Usually we have less than a dB, but a lot of that can be attributed to connectors. connectors right. Yeah, most of that's in the You know, it's. Uh, with these angle polish connectors, typically we end up getting very little loss. We'll end up with tenth, tenth of a really dB or something bad, like yeah. that. So, um, we've eaten a, we've eaten a couple of dB, but that's usually because yeah. the splice is in the in the antenna, and they don't really take to that too well. <laughs> after yeah. all the vibration and shit, yeah, after a while, they they start coming apart. And you'll, you get Here's more leakage with, through this fiber with a with a red source than you do with a 1300 it's or 1500 source. Let's see. Um, Here's the final product. Up, take a look at the splicer. You can see the splice in the center, in, that. in between the two um, on white lab right now, they're, they're protective uh, uh, coverings. Of the, bunch of land. That's it for today. Stuff, yeah. but they from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Yeah. Yeah. Fusion.